Hey, hey guys, it's Sarah Gadlerker here once again for the creative challenge, the five day challenge. Thank you again for being here. I think this is wonderful. I'd like to see more of you get interactive on this. All these things are gold. These are things that I've worked for myself. Uh, I've worked for my, my other uh, coaches that I've, where I've worked with before. I'm working with other widows. I'm coaching them through their own grief. Try to acknowledge your emotions is a very difficult thing to do. And trying to work with them is extremely difficult, especially if they are the big active ones, you know, the big angry ones. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So you today, we're going to be talking about how to challenge this anger and all those powerful negative emotions that you have out of your body and into the world okay some emotions are just passive they make you want to curl up into a ball and just let the day go by and others they make you want to punch walls and jump up and down in frustration and they literally want to pull your hair out okay the latter ones those are the ones we're going to be channeling today so for this exercise, you're gonna have to prepare to get messy, okay? Both physically and emotionally, but it's incredibly freeing. So I need you to grab some big sheets of paper, okay? Don't worry if you don't have any lying around, you can just take a, find some other printer paper and print and uh, tape some of those together, tape onto your floor. You wanna have a good size rectangle on the floor, okay? You might even wanna put some of the garbage bags around the paper, you know, just in case. Now you're going to grab your paints or your kids' paints and some paint brushes. Got it? Okay. Now, focus on the emotion that you're feeling the most strongly. If that had a color, what color would it be? Find the paint color that it feels like and get a good size dollop on your paintbrush. Now, take that paintbrush and flick it hard. Just don't let go. Fling that paint against the paper. Okay, watch the colors strike the blank canvas and see how they erupt your emotions out into the world. Your anger and frustration and the unfairness of this ridiculous situation that you're in needs to be seen. Your emotions and your feelings are out there. They need these powerful, active emotions. They need to be expressed. So express them. Grab your paint, paints, grab your brushes, Take your brushes, thrust them into those paint colors until you feel that you, the, the ones you feel express your feelings the most, and then cast them out onto the paper. Let yourself move with these feelings. If you feel the urge, play some music that you can move with as you express yourself. Keep going until you spent all that pent up energy and you're sweaty and you're breathing hard. This, this is catharsis. Come back to yourself when you're ready. Feel all that out. Just breathe it out. Just take all the energy and project it into the universe. Let it know the universe knows that you're angry and you're upset and letting it go and it being seen and it being there. This is powerful. Your rage is powerful. It's magnificent. Just look at what you created. I want you to feel free. You want to take that piece of art and I want you to mount it onto your wall. Refer it to it whenever you're feeling overwhelmed by life. And if you need to, do the exercises again and again and again until you have plastered your wall with different pieces of paper and your art. In the meantime, take that one piece of paper that you did, shake that one painting that you did, and I want you to share it. I want to see them. I want you to, to take a picture of it, put it up on the board, let us see what you created yourself, okay? We all are here together. We all want to see to get to see what we can do for yourself. Okay? Thank you. All right. And I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.